tonight? Are we knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door? Or are we taking the highway to hell? night for bourbon or well not just bourbon whiskey what I have in front of me heaven's door double barrel whiskey heaven's door Tennessee bourbon and heaven's door straight white whiskey <laughs> straight rye whiskey and I'm going to be sampling each of these tonight. These are small bottles, as you can see. Um, <laughs> you'll notice I sometimes am wearing my reading glasses and sometimes I'm not. They are 200 milliliters. And uh, this one, at least, is 100 proof, 100 proof which is 50% ABV. This one is 90 proof, which is 45% ABV. And this one is 92 proof, which is 46% ABV. None of these bottles have been opened and I have never tried any one of these before. And I am going to have one heck of a difficult time trying to get this open. Apparently, even once I split the wrap, the seal. Hmm, pleasant enough smelling. So let's pour just a little bit. Ah, this one's going to come off a little better. Seems I found the perforation on that one. even stronger smelling. and a little sweeter smelling, I think. All right, I've gotten them open. I've gotten my glasses poured. I'm going to start from my right. It smells like whiskey. I'm getting a little bit of caramel, a little bit of honey, some spiciness. A little cinnamon maybe. It's got a woody characteristic to it. Definitely nice. Let's try the next one. This one is the Tennessee bourbon. The first one was the double barrel whiskey. This one is uh, very similar. I don't get quite as much caramel here. Actually, maybe it's a little bit less honey. The other one had a little bit more of a honey smell to it and a little spicier. Yeah, this one is uh, slightly sweeter on the nose, but very, very similar to the double barrel whiskey. Now let's try the rye. A lot stronger smelling, a lot fruitier. I get a darker fruit here. 
This one is a little more caramel, I think, or, or is it? No, it's not caramel, it's something else. I think it might be a little bit of that darker fruitiness. So definitely spicier, I'm getting a little more cinnamon in there, and perhaps a little bit of clove. All right, let's come back to the first one and let's give it a taste. Smooth and creamy. It's definitely got that caramel flavor going on with it. A little bit of sweetness, perhaps honey. Oak. All in all, very nice. All right, let's see what it tastes like. I think the bourbon has a little more smoothness to it. It's a little more drinkable, I think, than the double barrel. It's not quite as sweet on the palate. I can definitely taste the corn in here and a little bit of nuttiness. There's uh, some light fruit, I'm thinking apple. All in all, it's a little more drinkable, I think, than the double barrel, but uh, they're both very, very good. It's just a little bit sweeter as well. Now let's go for the rye. And if you watched my video on rye, you'll know that I have trouble with rye. It's not one of my favorite whiskeys. Whew, this one definitely finishes stronger. It's peppier, uh, pepperier, uh -huh, more pepper. It's spicier. I definitely am getting some clove in this and some cinnamon. In fact, uh, as it finishes here, I'm picking up really kind of cinnamon oil. So it's got a bit of that heat to it. Uh, that I didn't get with uh, the others. I've got to say though, it is not turning me off. I actually kind of like it. That's the first time I've ever said that about a rye. There's still some fruit there. I think it's a little darker fruit. It's more like a cherry flavor than it is a lighter fruit like an apple or a pear. It definitely brings that heat though. It's certainly spicy. But I think I can safely say this is the first time I've tried a rye that I actually like. Though I think in terms of comparisons here, I like the bourbon, I like the double barrel whiskey, and coming in third, a little bit behind these two, these two are pretty close neck and neck. They're very, very similar. But coming in uh, a bit behind those two is the rye, but I, it does get a thumbs up from me. I've never said that about a rye before, so uh, that's a, at least a very good thing.